The new Daybreak Pendant came out for MapleStory GMS a few months ago. You can obtain it as a boss drop from Vertella and Saren. This begs the question, which pendant is better? Transpose Sweetwater Pendant from a Dominator Pendant or the new Daybreak Pendant? If we were to compare them side by side without accounting for the two set effects, the Daybreak Pendant would get spanked by the Sweetwater Pendant easily. However, once we account for the 2 set effect of the 10 magic attack and weapon attack all stats along with the 10% boss damage, things become a bit trickier. We already know that unless you are running a Sword of Suffering for a pitch boss set, your second pendant slot is going to be filled with either a Daybreak Pendant or a Sweetwater Pendant. Either one of those will be paired with a Superior Engraved Golux Pendant. Unfortunately, running two Superior Golux Pendants puts you at a pretty big disadvantage towards the endgame because of the weaker flame potential and star force stats. That said, if you're mid game and don't intend to be end game above 60k stats anytime soon, two superior gold pendants might not be so bad since you can always just sell off one of them down the line very easily. Alright, let's jump into it. Here are the bases for our comparison. Both will have the same flame since both Dominator and Daybreak are level 140 items, therefore the flames will cancel each other out. And before you ask, yes, after transposing you don't get extra stats on your flame. It only seems that way. But that fake gain in flame stat means you lose the star force or scrolling stats. Dominator will be scrolled with arc scrolls which give 3 all stats and 3 attack and magic attack. Daybreak pendants will be scrolled with premium attack scrolls which give 4 attack each usually. A 22 star daybreak pendant has a total of 111 stats. 103 stat from the star forcing and 8 stats clean, 108 attack, 78 attack from star forcing, 2 attack clean, 28 attack more from the 7 slot scrolling. In addition, from the 2 boss sets, you get 10 all stat, 10 attack slash magic attack, and 10% boss, totaling to 121 stat, 118 attack, and 10% boss. In contrast, a 22 star transpose Sweetwater Pendant has 195 stat, 161 stat from scrolling and star forcing, plus 34 stat clean, 121 attack from scrolling and star forcing, but don't forget, since the Sweetwater is level 160, we get 1% better on each potential line. Let's just say that we have 5 lines on both items, that means we have a plus 5% stat gain on the Sweetwater Pendant. Based on this calculator from my stats, left side being the Sweetwater and the right side being the Daybreak, we see that the Sweetwater Pendant is ever so slightly better than the Daybreak Pendant. Does that mean we should go for the Sweetwater Pendant? Maybe. Here are some factors you should consider. A Sweetwater Pendant is arguably more work when it comes to cubing, since you have to cube one yourself unless you don't care about the tradeability and just buy a finished one. Scrolling since you need protection scrolls for each slot, and transposing since you need a Mercy Coins or a Special Anvil. However, you can trade it once if you piece out the Dominator before transposing. The boosted stats and attack will also help you more than the boss damage would in a training scenario. In contrast, the Daybreak Pendant is significantly easier to make because you can just buy 5 line of the potential and premium attack scroll it all the way. But once you equip the Pendant, you can never trade it or peace socket again. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you enjoy seeing this comparison and want to see more, be sure to check out this next video in which I compare 22 star Absolabs to 22 star Arcanes to see if Arcanes are really worth their price tags. Special thanks to M for Murder for supporting this channel. If you want to support my videos as well, be sure to hit that join button down below and I'll talk to you all in the next video.